ISW warns of danger of sudden breakthrough by Russian troops in Ukraine. The shortage of ammunition and military equipment caused by delays in U.S. aid could leave the current front lines in Ukraine very vulnerable. This could be exploited by Russian forces for a sudden breakthrough. The Institute for the Study of War said this. The Institute for the Study of War analysts said that Ukraine's prioritization of areas of the front line, which are most at risk from intense Russian offensives, could create vulnerabilities elsewhere. The Institute's experts warned that Russian forces could take advantage of this to make a sudden and unexpected advance. A breakthrough could happen if the supply of weapons to the Ukrainian military continues to decline. They also noted that the fact that Russia retained the initiative along the entire line of contact increases the risks of such a development, allowing Russian military commanders to increase or decrease the intensity of operations on any part of the front line at their discretion. The Institute for the Study of War analysts stressed that Ukrainian forces are likely trying to mitigate the problems caused by the lack of ammunition and are identifying priority areas on the front line. However, military analysts are convinced that this has risks for the Ukrainian forces. On the 12th of March, the German news outlet Der Spiegel published an interview with unnamed Ukrainian commanders who stated that almost all Ukrainian units and formations are suffering from a shortage of ammunition and military equipment. Der Spiegel noted that Ukrainian units can only hold their current positions if Russian troops do not use their full capacity to attack. Alexander Sirsky, commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, warned that there is a threat of Russian units advancing deeper into Ukrainian formations in certain areas of the front line. No American weapon will stop Russia's military operation in Ukraine. Russian ambassador. The U.S is aggravating the Ukraine conflict by continuing to support Kiev financially and suggesting a course of action on the ground, the Russian ambassador to Washington, Anatoly Antonov, has said. Washington's rhetoric about the need to pour more money into Kiev to help it attack Crimea signals America's direct participation. Antonov told reporters on Wednesday in response to an earlier statement by CIA director William Burns. Additional funds would allow Ukraine to conduct more deep penetration strikes in Crimea, continue targeting the Russian Black Sea Fleet, and eventually regain the offensive initiative, Burns told the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence. The situation has reached a point where some high-ranking U.S. officials are saying, we need to help Ukrainians strike deep in Crimea. In other words, the direct involvement of the United States in the conflict has been officially recognized, Antonov stated. He went on to warn that the direct participation of Ukraine's Western backers in the conflict is a dangerous course fraught with the most unpredictable consequences, not only for the security of the U.S., but for the whole world. The CIA director's appeal came as the U.S. is struggling to approve a new $60 billion aid package amid persistent complaints from Ukrainian authorities about a lack of munitions on the front lines. While the funding is stalled in Congress, the White House announced a smaller $300 million military aid injection for Kiev the first this year. According to Antonov, with this new package, the U.S. administration confirmed the constancy of its disastrous course of prolonging the military conflict in Ukraine. The United States does not want to understand the simple truth that no American weapon will stop Russia's special military operation. Its use will only lead to an increase in casualties among ordinary citizens of the post-Soviet Republic, he said. Russia fueling U.S. border problems to distort presidential race in U.S. There is little doubt that the main issue in the presidential campaign in the U.S. this year is immigration, according to Forbes. Current discussions on Capitol Hill are focused on persuading House Speaker Mike Johnson to bring the Senate-approved immigration bill to a vote in the White House or on gaining sufficient support for adopting a discharge petition to circumvent his obstruction. It appears that the discharge petition to sidestep the speaker is the more likely option. In the meantime, the presidential campaign is in full swing and Biden and Trump are racing across the country talking about immigration to garner supporters and votes. Given this delicate situation regarding adopting an immigration solution, it is disheartening to learn that, once again, Russia is trying to meddle in the US presidential election by promoting discord over immigration matters. 
A recent AP article pointed out, in recent weeks, Russian state media and online accounts tied to the Kremlin have spread and amplified misleading and incendiary content about US immigration and border security. The campaign seems crafted to stoke outrage and polarization before the 2024 election for the White House and experts who study Russian disinformation say Americans can expect more to come as Putin looks to weaken support for Ukraine and cut off a vital supply of aid. The article continued, in social media posts, online videos and stories on websites, these accounts misstate the impact of immigration, highlight stories about crimes committed by immigrants and warn of dire consequences if the US doesn't crack down at its border with Mexico. Many are misleading, filled with cherry-picked data or debunked rumours.